Hello everyone and welcome back to another Explaining Minecraft video. Today I want to talk to you about tick phases. So if you didn't know, there are 20 ticks per second. There's 20 ticks per second in Minecraft. And a tick is pretty much like a loop of a bunch of things happening inside of the tick. So a lot of stuff happens in the tick phases. And these are the most important tick phases. So first there's the tile ticks. Tile ticks is stuff like repeaters going off, etc. So like, when I place that redstone block right there, the repeater scheduled a tile tick for two game ticks later, so that then it could turn on. Next we have the block event phase. So the block event phase is when we have something like a piston extending. So a piston extending or attracting is a block event. A note block going off is also a block event. Chest being opened is also a block event. So yeah, just stuff like that. Next we have the regular entity phase, so this is like mobs so if i get like you know like a bee or something uh the bee moving or anything like that it gets processed in the regular entity phase next we have the tile entities so in the tile entity uh, phase we have stuff like hoppers pushing and pulling items we have moving blocks turning into normal blocks because if you don't know uh when a block is moving it's block 36 when it turns into the normal block something that would go into tile entity phase and also moving stuff, pushing entities. That's also part of the tile entity phase. Next we have player inputs, so something like flicking a lever, uh, or flicking a button, or also placing or breaking blocks. That's also counted as a player input. So there's two phenomenons going on here in this contraption. So the first one is the player input delay. So I might ask you, what's the delay between me flicking this lever and this piston starting to move? You might say zero, because it's right next to it, there's no repeater delay, no nothing. The answer is actually there's one game tick of delay, and the reason is that this all happens in this exact order. So first the tile ticks, then block events, then regular entities, tile entities, and then player inputs. So what we do there, uh, the flicking of the lever, is a player input. So it gets processed right here, but this is at the very end of the tick. Pistons moving is right here in the block event, uh, block event phase. So this is at the beginning of the tick. If we activate something here at this position in the tick, then nothing will actually happen until we loop all the way back around here to the beginning of the tick, which is already the next tick. So let me just reiterate, we're going all the way down here uh, with nothing happening. We're assuming this is just this closed system. So nothing's going on, nothing's going on. Then a player inputs uh, flicking off this lever. Next, that's the end of the tick. We go back around to the beginning of the tick. We have tile ticks, nothing happens there. We have block events, and then it starts moving. So as I said, nothing happens in the tick that we actually flick the lever. We only start to piss and extending when the block event happens in the next tick, because as I said, the player input is after the block event. So we can demonstrate this if we do tick freeze, and then we go by steps. So tick freeze, the game is frozen, you can see nothing, nothing's going on. If I throw something, it won't move. So if I flick this lever, you can see nothing interesting happened, and nothing interesting will happen for that same tick. We have to wait one extra tick for the piston to even start moving. Alright, so that's that phenomenon. The next one is the difference between this redstone activating and this piston activating. So I might ask you the question, what's the difference between the delay of this redstone dust activating and this piston activating. And you might say it's the same because this redstone block, once it moves over here, it's going to be simultaneously powering the redstone dot and the piston. But as you can see for yourself, so pistons take two game ticks to extend. I'll explain what the confusion might be between two game ticks and three game ticks a bit later. But if we step forward by two, you can see the block moved over here. So you can see the redstone dust activated, but nothing actually happened to the piston. The reason is that this thing, as I said, um, moving blocks converting into normal blocks happens in the tile entity phase. This moving redstone block turned back into a redstone block in the tile entity phase. But as I said, pistons extending or retracting only happens during the block event phase. Therefore, this redstone block took two game ticks to extend, but it will take an extra game tick for the piston to start moving here. You can see now one game tick later, the piston's moving because it... We now looped back all the way back here, and we reached the block event phase, and now the piston started moving. All right, so one more run through this. We do tick freeze. We turn on the lever. We currently just turned on the lever right here at the end of the tick where the player inputs happened. 
So we're still in this tick. Therefore, nothing's actually going on after the player inputs something. So we're going to have to wait until the next tick until that piston starts moving. So if we do tick step one, then we looped back around here and we pass the block events. So now we have a block event for extension of that sticky piston. If you're wondering why this piston looks like a normal piston now, even though you could see it was a sticky piston, it's just because my vanilla tweaks thing um, apparently doesn't apply to the moving piston head. So yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. So now the piston started moving. If we do tick step two, you can see that the piston finished moving two game ticks after it started moving, because again, pistons take two game ticks to extend or retract. And the redstone dot, the redstone dust started and the redstone dust activated, but the piston is still staying in place because again, we are the redstone block coming out of moving. So stopping the redstone block of moving happens in the tile entity phase. So we have to wait until the next tick where we end up in the block event phase so that this piston can start extending again. And then if we tick step one more, then you can see the piston started extending. All right, so the piston finished extending. Now let's do the retraction. So we retract, nothing happens. If we do tick step one, it starts retracting because again, we turned off the lever during the player input phase. We had to wait until the next tick until the block event phase so that this piston could start retracting. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more technical Minecraft content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.